The utility AI selects a decision based on the score calculated for this decision. Let's take a look at the utility AI editor. Here we have three tabs. This decision tab is the executing part where we define a set of actions that will be executed. Or you can also um, create your custom decisions where you have one big script uh, executing your um, code when this decision is selected. Then we have the decision score evaluator that scores up um, considerations whether this decision should be selected or not. We can give it a weight, uh, there's hold, um, if the score should be above um, the dose, there's hold, then only the uh, decision is selected and a group. The group is important for overriding decisions. So for example, if we take a look at idle, it has a group of zero. Wandering, is, it has also a group of zero. If we have a target, then for example, run to target should override any executing decision. So it, it has a group of one. And the attack will override any, um, any decision except the dead because it has a group of 10. And the decision maker um, defines what the AI can do. So if the AI can attack or um, if it can only idle and w uh, wander around. And uh, yeah, that's basically it for the editor. So um, let's create our first AI by dragging the spider to the scene. And let's create a new animator controller. I'm going to call this spider controller. And assign it to uh, the animator component. Open it up. Here I'm going to create a new parameter called speed. And the blend tree. And call this blend tree movement. double check that the speed is selected as parameter here and add three fields and assign the animations to the fields so the first one is idle walk and run if the speed is 0, we are in the idle animation. If the speed is 1, we are in the walk animation. And if the speed is 2, we are in the R a run animation. Now we need a nav mesh component because we are using the um, because we are using the nav mesh and uh, in our decision here um, in the wonder and also in the idle the stop. So let's add nav mesh agent. Set up the height. We also need a um, capsule collider. And an AI controller. Where, uh, where we need an intelligence definition. So let's right click on the folder in your project. Create Davian Games AI and create an intelligence definition. I'm going to call this Spider AI and click on the plus button to select the decision maker. I'm going to select the wonder. So uh, I, our NPC can only wander around. Now we need to drag and drop the Spider AI to in to the intelligence definition. At the blackboard, 
and uh, we are done. So let's hit play. As you can see, our spider is wandering around. Then he idles for a few seconds and then uh, it selects the wandering position again. 